So I looked at my feed the other day and I was like, damn, it's been a while since you guys have seen my hair. Well, except one time. But aside from that, there is a clear transition from my feed at Fly With Johnny Ty, shameless plug by the way, of me being headwear free to present day. And especially with the situation of 2020, I have not pulled out the heat and comb in a minute, just like I haven't gone a day alcohol free in a minute. I'm just kidding about that. So with all that, hats and beanies have been a part of my rotation of comfy athleisure and the occasional come up with a good outfit for the Instagram. And sorry about the echo, by the way, I'm in a different place. I'm staying with my friend. Finally made it to New York. But anyways, let's talk about hats and beanies 101 from a guy who doesn't really know how to dress, but likes clothes. This is just my personal taste and preferences when it comes to headwear. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. So this is just a little guide for you guys and Let's talk about hats and beanies. But before that, real quick, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by the sponsor of today's video, ShopTagger. So let's cut to the ad. So ShopTagger has been an essential online shopping tool that I've been using way before they even sponsored me. It really is the best way to tackle online shopping, whether you're a broke boy like me or you're balling out of control. It's for everyone. So here's how it works. Just download the Chrome extension in the link below or the mobile app on your phone. Just start browsing your favorite stores and start tagging some items. When you get to your store or an item that you like, a blue ShopTagger button pops up and you can just drag it up and down to navigate around the page and then you can click and save the item in your specific size if it's out of stock and shop tiger will email you or send you a push notification for whenever that specific item goes on sale or is back in stock it saved me a ton of headache especially with the deploy cargos before i tried picking it up many times and it was always out of stock but once i started using shop tiger tagged the item they immediately sent me an email saying that I was back in stock and I was able to pick it up. And that's really it. You can create a curated personal list based off your personal aesthetics or types of clothing. It's totally up to you. I like to do both. You know, I got my tech stuff, my streetwear stuff, but also individual items like hats and sneakers. The choice is totally up to you, but either way, just click the link in the description, download the extension, and start making online shopping easier and more affordable because now they have a cash back feature where if you shop at specific stores, you will get a cash back on that, as well as just clicking one button to apply a bunch of coupon codes to save you even more money if there is that option. And now you can be less broke from your cycle of copying Johns. So thank you ShopTagger for sponsoring this video and thank you guys in advance if you guys download the extension. So with it being September 6th as of the recording of this video, the temperatures have slowly started to dip and the sun is setting at 7.30 instead of 9 p.m. now. So we are at that perfect stage where beanies are acceptable to wear. I mean, you can wear beanies whenever you want. I was wearing it in the dead of summer, but uh, you know, most people find that weird. So real quick, let's talk about hats throughout our history. Hats have come in many different shapes and sizes from the Western cowboy hats to the French flat caps to the straw hats my parents would wear back in the day in Vietnam. There is an endless amount of hat styles, but since this is the present day and this is a modern day fashion channel in America, we're gonna talk about modern day hats that are incorporated in streetwear, menswear, and many other styles. So I don't have every hat that is rocked in fashion, so just bear with me. But trucker hats have been back for a while. It's basically a hat with a transparent mesh in the back. I've picked this one up on my road trip when I made a stop in the shy. We've got snapbacks and fitted caps that peaked in the 2000s swag boy era. Camp caps were popular in skate culture and the general streetwear scene, most likely because of the likes of Supreme and Tyler the Creator. Fedoras were a modern sleek hat that peaked in 2013 and 2014. You'll still see the occasional fedora floating around. Bucket hats were popular in the b-boy scene way back when, but you'll see it rocked in a lot of hiker core, vintage workwear, and technical looks, as well as my favorite and probably the most popular hats because of how versatile it is the dad hat dad hats can be rocked with pretty much any aesthetic and will most likely suit any face shape hence why it is so popular and for beanies to keep it plain and simple i want to recommend that you guys pick up a fisherman's beanie or a beanie that you can roll up high enough to become a fisherman's beanie so that you have options and there are also those beanies with the little ball on top which definitely isn't my preference but you can totally rock it if that's your thing so here's why you need one of these everyone has a bad hair day can't avoid it. And with the situation of 2020, there's no reason to be looking all nice and pretty outside. And whenever you work out, you can throw one of these on as well because again, no one is trying to look pretty at the gym and because of the versatility. Let me show you guys a normal skate inspired outfit. Dad hat looks good, beanie looks good. Futuristic dystopian tech fit, beanie looks great, dad hat looks great. Minimalistic fit, dad hat looks great. Beanie looks amazing. These two pieces of headgear is like soy sauce and sesame oil in Asian cooking. Throw it on any dish and it'll make it taste better. Just like if you throw this on any fit, it'll make your outfit 
have better taste. All right, so to style it, obviously you just throw it on your head and you walk out the door, but there's a little bit more to it than that. So black hats are absolutely the go-to whenever it comes to hats because you can easily throw it on and not have to think about color blocking, but I definitely suggest more colors and small graphics if you're into that. I mean, I should probably take my own advice on this, but of course the neutrals and earth tones are a safe go-to, but I like to think of this headgear like crew socks. They're a very small item incorporated in an outfit and you don't really notice how much of an impact it has on your fit until your ankles are exposed. Take off the crew socks and your fit just hits a different vibe, just like a hat or a beanie. And like with crew socks, different colored socks are a must. I've seen many people rock pink colored hats or denim colored ones. Just don't be afraid to experiment. With beanies, if it's a bit too long, you could always just fold it twice. Just make sure it's not a super thick cuff, otherwise it'll look out of proportion. And the first color beanie I would recommend is definitely a mustard one. It's bright enough to be bold and pop a little bit on your fits, but neutral enough to complement most of your outfits. And because of the colder weather that's coming up, brighter colors aren't utilized as much, so colored beanies are a great way to do just that. Just remember, it's not gonna be as versatile as a neutral colored one, but it'll make your fits pop. And with any of this headgear, if you're not feeling that it's complementing your face, just make some adjustments. I feel with beanies, I like to show a little bit of my hairline as a personal preference. So I like to just pull it back a little bit, kind of like day one song. And with hats, I like to point it up slightly. Definitely don't recommend sitting the hat all the way down on your head. It kind of makes me look like a little kid when I do that. So I try to keep it straight with a slight point up. So just be careful with hats, especially camp caps, it can definitely look a little bit weird. Another thing I recommend is that it's okay to match a beanie with another piece of your outfit color-wise. And especially if the items are close to each other, like a face mask and a beanie, it'll definitely look like one uniform piece, which is kind of a cool look. I know I've told a subscriber on Rate My Fits that I didn't really like that look, but that's changed. I kind of like that look now. And one more good rule of thumb is to take account for the colors of your fit. If you're rocking a lot of colors, you might want to throw on a neutral colored one to help balance that out and not be overpowering. Until you're comfortable enough to rock a variety of colors and you just don't really care and if it's a simple fit you have the choice of embracing and leaning into that simplicity or you can just throw on a bright colored one for a pop of color and to complement the fit and with any of this headgear the best place to go is Amazon almost every single beanie and hats that I have comes from Amazon it's the cheapest place to go because the brand doesn't matter with these unless you want that brand association but if you want a branded or a graphic one hey man nobody's stopping you I just personally would not spend more than $50 on it because because they all function the same way. There's no reason to be paying more than that just for the brand, especially because it'll be a little tiny logo anyways. But you guys know I love just hitting up gift shops. This one came from when I checked out the Sears Tower in Chicago a few days ago. And this will be a DIY soon, by the way. Nike and Nike ACG do have some pretty awesome hats. Hell, you can even hit up Urban Outfitters or H&M. My recommendation though is a blank dad hat and a beanie in many different colors. I'll leave a lot of links in the description where you guys can pick up some hats and some of my favorites that I'm gonna pick up in the future and that is hats and beanies 101, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, turn the like button blue for the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai for some lame outfits. And if you made it this far, how about you comment, comment Mama Ramen because that sounds really good right now. And don't debate me on this, Mama Ramen has the best instant noodles out there and so i know that you're cool and you made it this far I'm probably gonna be like four of you guys but anyways guys until then stay fly download shop tagger i'm out peace